morning, dear students. I'm Elizabeth, and today I want to share with you the experience these two American siblings, Fanian and Annika, had during their stay at school. They had close to six months of being immersed in the Spanish language immersion, sharing culture, knowledge, customs, and feelings with our Bartolinos. Their stay is ending because they set off on a journey around South America, and we want them to let us know how this life experience was. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Finian, tell us, why did your parents choose Colombia for you to study and live in? When my dad was getting his doctorate in economics, we met this Colombian family that we became really good friends with. And then when my dad wanted to do a sabbatical year because he felt it was good to travel the world and experience new cultures. And we also wanted to learn Spanish because it's such an important skill to have in life. And since we had such good friends here and Colombia is such a beautiful country, we wanted to come here. Anika, how was your stay here at school? I feel like I had a very good special experience here at school. Everyone's kind, the teachers are supporting. Yeah. Finian, how was your stay here in Colombia, in Bogota? I think it was a very interesting experience because we never had lived in a city before, especially a city of this size. So just there's a bit more hustle and bustle, but it was a very nice experience. Bogota is a very vibrant city full of like art and music. So it was very nice and all. What challenges did you guys face here? I think one of the main challenges, of course, is the new language and culture. It took a little bit of time to get adjusted to, but I think, so the first few weeks were hard trying to make connections, but I think after time, um, it, it got better. And as we learned Spanish and we're able to talk with people more. Okay, Anika? Yeah, I think Spanish was a real struggle for me at the beginning, not understanding concepts either in class or just thoughts in general people told me, but also making those real good relationships and connections was hard when I wasn't able to, I don't know, express myself very well. Finian, how different is your school at Fort Collins from San Bartolo? I think a lot of it is the same. Classes generally cover the same topics and they feel similarly paced and a similar level of um, teaching. But I think the main difference is at my school back in Fort Collins, there's just one building with all the classes in it. While here, I mean, since it's preschool through 11th grade there's so many buildings and a large open space like mm -hmm. we have here so that took a little bit of getting used to. Anika, what are your thoughts about Bartolinos? Bartolinos are such kind generous people and I think it's super interesting to have people so interested in learning about English or my culture yeah Guys, can you mention two things that you have learned at school? Um, I think, okay, one of the things that I've learned at school is, well, there's a lot more different subjects, for example, philosophy and ethics or comunidad magis or liderazgo. So those are totally new topics I've never seen studied before, but as well, also just Spanish in general. Finian. Yeah, I think what Annika mentioned about the different subjects, stuff like Comunidad Magis, which is ethics related, um, there's no real opportunities to do that at my school back in the US. So it's very interesting to see this new perspective on how to like evaluate your life and your experiences and then i would have to agree that obviously spanish is one of the main reasons we came here and i think i've definitely learned a lot from my experience here 
Anika, what was the most interesting thing that you learned about the Colombian culture? Everyone here in Colombia is a lot more affectionate and loving with each other. Like, you can just go on the streets and strangers will be asking you how you are and if you're liking the city, while in the United States you just do your business. Finian, did you have an embarrassing moment? I think during the experience called Alcadillas here, it's a big presentation where you make this huge like canvas art and do a presentation of dance. I I had I had never danced before really, but I was pushed into doing it and I think I had several embarrassing moments <laughs> throughout the experience of learning the dances and doing the dances, but it's still a very interesting and great experience. And you did it at the end? Yeah. Guys, can you name a beautiful place you would visit if you came again to Colombia? I think within Bogota, Plaza Bolivar is a very nice place. It has the influence of like a little bit of Spanish influence as well as just these old um, government buildings, which is something I've never, there's not as much of that in the US, so it's a very nice place to see. Anika. I think for me it's Monterrate because it's kind of like a family tradition to go up there every weekend and hike up and see the beautiful landscape of the city and have breakfast there, so yeah. Guys, how is your Spanish now? I guess I'll try to show you. I'll explain in, us in Spanish. Creo que mi español ha mejorado mucho durante este periodo, especialmente porque tenemos clases en español. Uh, yo creo que normalmente puedo entender lo que los otros están diciendo, uh, pero hablar es un poco más difícil solo porque no he practicado en este tanto. But you did it well. And you, Anika? Ah, mi español ha mejorado oh, mucho en esta experiencia, pero no sé, puede entender más español. Is there a Colombian phrase that you have learned in here? Yeah, I think there's a lot of Colombian like words that aren't really used elsewhere. Y como el cantante Juanes dice, Colombia es muy chimba. <laughs> Anika. Um, for me, a phrase that I heard what and when like I was really confused on what it meant was como les ayudo. <laughs> but now I understand what it means. <laughs> uh, Finian, where are you going next? Will you come back to Colombia? Yeah. So after this, we're going to do a five month trip throughout a lot of South America. We're starting out by going to Argentina, Buenos Aires, y, and then we're going to travel through the Patagonia and up the Andes Mountains, and we will come back to Bogota and Colombia in July to spend our last month in South America here. Okay. So you are coming back to Colombia? Yes. Okay. And you, Finian, what will you take from San Bartolo? I think from San Bartolo, I'm going to take um, from the classes that teach you just a little bit more about looking upon yourself and like doing self-realization. So I think when I'll, I go back to the US, I'll want to still have that with me. Guys, what would you say to families who wanted their children to have an Spanish immersion here in San Bartolo? I would say you should do it because you might regret it in the future. And I wouldn't say I was super excited to do it when I heard about the idea last year, but I'm, I'm very glad we made the decision too. And you, Finan? All in all, I would say that it definitely is a very good experience and especially to any kids who are gonna go into it.
Um, it might be hard the first few weeks, but the people here are very, they want to help you. And I'm sure that you will come out of the experience happy that you've done it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for being here all this time, sharing this experience with us. And remember, San Bartolo is your second home. Thank yes. you. Thank you.